Hello, and welcome to the Powerline Systems video on feature code groups. This video will introduce the command to group feature codes and cover how those groups can be used in the software. To begin, let's open the software and look at our feature code table. The feature code table can be accessed by navigating to Terrain, Feature Code Data, Edit. This table is where you designate the information for your survey points, including feature code number, a description, a symbol for the plan and profile views, options for how the points will behave in the model, any horizontal and vertical clearance requirements for your defined voltages, spotting constraint buffers, an option to override clearances for each feature code based on weather cases and voltage, and labeling options for plan and profile views. The last two columns cannot be edited. They display the active and inactive point counts in your model. This new column, Feature Code Groups, is the focus of this video. Click twice in the column to open the Feature Code Groups Edit box. If this is the first time this box has been opened, it will be empty. In this project, however, you can see we have several feature code groups already set up for crossing structures, crossing wires, project structure, project wires, roads, signs, and water features. We can add another group for railroad features by typing into the Create New Group input box. Click the Add Group button to add this group to the list above. The new group is automatically selected for the feature code row you clicked on. You can define each of your feature code groups in this first box, or you can define them as you go, clicking on any feature code row. If you create a feature code group that doesn't apply to the specific row you've clicked on, you can left-click on the newly added group to deselect it. If you create multiple feature code groups, and a particular feature code should be in multiple groups, you can easily multi-select or toggle which groups a feature code belongs to. Because we're in Row 1 PI, none of the new feature code groups are appropriate, so we should make sure none of the feature code groups are selected when we click OK to exit this dialog. Now, as you go through the rows of feature codes in the table, you can select which feature code group each feature code pertains to. The usual copy fill command works very well, and as you can see, a feature code is able to belong to multiple feature code groups simply by selecting multiple groups in this input. In addition to creating feature code groups and selecting them in this window, you can also delete a selected feature code group and you can edit them as well. To edit a feature code group, select the one you want to edit, click the button, and you'll see you can change its name. Changing the name of a feature code group will affect all of the feature codes that are already in this group. Once you have your feature codes grouped, you can use these groups to easily display specific survey points or reference specific survey points in your reports. For example, if you are working on matching your structures to your survey, you can use Terrain Survey Data Display Options to draw only designated feature codes. First, select None. Then use the Select by Group drop-down to select Project Structures. Now, the only survey points that will be displayed are the ones that belong to the Project Structures feature code group. And, when you open a structure from PLS CAD, only the project structure survey points will be included in the poll model, making it easier to match your structures to the survey points. You can also use feature code groups in various clearance reports, like the Lines Reports survey point clearance, to make selecting specific groups of feature codes easier. 
any place in the software that allows you to select specific feature codes will have this new drop-down capability so that you can select one of your user-defined feature code groups. We hope you find this video helpful for creating and using feature code groups in PLS CAD. For more information about our software, including additional videos and tech notes, please check out our website at www.powerlinesystems.com. For inquiries regarding our software, price quotations, technical support, and other information, please contact the email addresses shown on the screen. Thank you for watching this video and your interest in our software, the industry standard in overhead line design.